Stanton and welcome to Street Magic. You know, it's amazing what our first magician can do with ordinary objects that people carry around with them every day. Take a look at this. Here's Nathan Fan. I need to borrow um, a cell phone from somebody. I'm sorry, can I borrow your cell phone? Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Oh, very, very nice. Oh, this one looks expensive and fancy. I'll do my best to be very careful with it. Uh -huh, so thanks. now, um, you, have a, you have insurance on this? Yes. Now, I notice you don't have a case on no case. this. You probably should, right? I probably I should. found out here's a really good inexpensive case that you can go out and make yourself. Um, this is really good at the beach. Uh, hold on, I have them in my back pocket uh -huh. over here. This right here, a balloon. Take a balloon, it's a really good inexpensive case. What you do, before you go to the beach or something, I want you guys to notice the color coordination as well. I love All it. All right, thank Very you. Nice. Wow. All right, watch. Very carefully, we're going to take it, and if you just place the phone inside the <laughs> balloon, now it's protected from the elements. Isn't that Yay! amazing? Wow, thank yes, you. that's just inside the. Okay. Now here's the thing. You're, so this will protect from the sand, but what about water? Water can still get in. Here's what yeah. you do. You inflate it slightly. You can see that the screen still lights up and everything inside. Yep. All right. And if you actually tie it off like this, now if you drop it in the water, it'll float. It sure will. So look at that. So you won't lose the phone. It'll just bob along in the water, right? Uh, no, you want your phone back, right? So this is a, a good case for now, but we'll, we'll give it back to you. Hold on a second. Sure. I did. There we go. Let me get the phone out. Oh! That's fancy. not your phone. It's not my phone. Oh. That's not. Well, it's a different. That's my phone. Wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> what? When did? So um um. Uh, all right. That's weird. Um, I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. Um, do me a favor. Since we have my phone out here, can you do me a huge favor? Can yeah. you actually dial your phone so we can find it? I feel really bad about okay. this. Go ahead and dial in your number. Okay. I want you to call it. Where's uh, Where's my phone? Yeah, I do. We'll We'll find it. Let's see. Hit Hit call. Okay. Let's see if we can find it. Um. Do you guys hear it? Where's that? Like here? No. No. No, 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 no. Look, 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 look. Sir, is that your phone? Are you kidding inside me? Inside this display case? Are come you over here, come over here. Me? Is that your phone inside the display case? Yes. Yes? All right, here. Do you have to stand right over okay, here? Yeah. Okay, um, I feel... That's crazy. Apparently, can we get someone from the Hard Rock Cafe to open this up for us? <laughs> no, we didn't. Okay, um... <laughs> Okay, I have a way of getting it out, but yeah. the problem is that if security walks by, they're gonna think I'm trying to steal. So do me a favor, I'm gonna, I did this a few times back in Scotland right. growing up, uh, and I got into a lot of trouble. So do me a favor, what I want you is, um, make sure that no one's coming, make sure no security's coming. Can you do that for me? Yeah, yeah. Is there any security coming? No, no security coming? All right, here, we're gonna try this. Ready, hold on one second. Ready? Oh. What? That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's your, oh, what? Bring it. That's your phone, right? Yeah. Double check. Make sure that really is your phone. That's your phone? Absolutely? Yes. Good. Hold on one second. We got to seal that back up. There we go. What? Good. Excellent. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Where's my watch? Uh, oh, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> what? Oh, I left my watch. And, um, can we? Oh, there's security coming. Um, well, I'll, nothing going on over here. I'll just, just admiring. It's a nice watch. That was a good trick. I Thank you. honestly have no idea how you did that. Modern technology is kind of like magic. It's amazing what some of our latest gadgets can do. But they can't do what you're about to see. At least I didn't think so until now. Here's Trig Watson. Have you guys ever just like been hanging out in the park or something and you're thirsty and there's nowhere to go buy a drink? Yeah. See, that's where being a magician can come in handy. I want to show you something really cool with my tablet here. I'm going to go to the camera app, which we should be able to find up at the top here. There we go. What's up? You know what you call this? It's an iPad. It's a silly joke. No, I'm filming with the camera on the back here, right? I want you guys to watch the very center of the screen as I try and make something materialize. Watch this. Watch the very center of the screen, right here. <laughs> Looks pretty real, doesn't it? Yeah. Get. <laughs> there you go. What? 
We're square now. Cheers. There you go. Happy summer. We <laughs> flipped at that. That's insane. How? That's why it's handy to be a magician, you know? Uh-huh. Sorry, I'm getting a call. It's Kyle. Hey, Kyle, what's up, man? How's it going? Hi, Kyle. <laughs> hey, I, go, I just made some lemonade up here. You want some? Yes, obviously. Here, go ahead, take a sip. Keep sipping. Is it going down? Keep oh sipping. My God. Keep sipping. What? Oh. <laughs> Where is it going? Oh my God, you oh. had the whole glass. <laughs> How did it taste? Awesome. What? How did you do that? See you, man. Later, man. I can tell you that I'd have to make it disappear. What you're about to see is clearly impossible. Or is it? Here's Rich Manley. Can I try something with you real quick? Sure, yeah. All right, let's use, uh, let's use these cards right here. Okay. I'm just gonna have you uh, take a card. We're gonna give them a quick couple of cuts. Here, 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 and here, and a quick shuffle, just to make sure that they're all shuffled up. Now, at any point, I just want you to tell me when to stop. I'm gonna riffle through the cards, and I just want you to say stop at any point when you feel comfortable. So we'll just go right through. Stop. Right there? Sure. Good. Okay, I want you to remember this card. I want you to look at it. Do not let me see it. I want the camera to see it. Everyone sees it? Got it? Good. Okay, we're gonna place it, uh, we're gonna place it right in the deck, probably about halfway. Right? It's good. Place it right into the deck here. Okay, now I wear this chain here. There's a reason why I do that. I've got another one right here. We're gonna use this chain to find your card. Take this out right here. I want you to watch carefully. We're gonna just dangle it right there. You remember what your card was, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, what I wanna do is I want you to count to three. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> There's a four. Four yeah, yeah, clubs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Four clubs, right? Actually, you can keep this uh, as a souvenir. Let me just have you, uh, you can see that that's on there right there. You can show the camera too. Next on Street Magic. I'm going to put my right foot on top of it. That's pretty fair. And later. So, have you ever been pickpocketed? No. <laughs> that's a really unnerving <laughs> question. That's that a really. Today. It literally that? happened in front of my face. Yeah. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. That is, that is incredible. <laughs> no idea how some of this stuff is done. I mean, it just completely blows me away. Like this. Here's T2. You're gonna pick a card, any card you like. Don't let me see it, but you're gonna show her, and you're gonna show everybody over here. And to make it a little bit more unique, I'm gonna ask you, to write your name nice and big across the face of the card. Go ahead. And when you're done with that, you show everybody your card with a name on it. You're good. Perfect. I'm gonna take the pen back. Perfect. So now we know there's only one card like this in the world that's yours. And you have free choice to say stop whenever you want. Just say stop right here. Put it back. All right, we're gonna shuffle those cards one by one, like this. All right, that's pretty fair. I'm gonna spread the card like so, and when you feel like it's his card with a signature, you touch it and you leave your finger on the back of the card. Go ahead, touch the card you want. It can be any card, the one you feel it. This one, do you want to change your mind? No. Are you sure, positive? Yeah. You wanna keep that one? Yeah. So what? I'm gonna put it right here, that's very fair, right? That's a card you took. And to make sure no one can come and change it, I'm gonna put my right foot on top of it. That's pretty fair, right? So now let's take a look. If she did a good job, she found your card. I didn't see the card, but normally only card with a signature should be in there, only one. So if it's not, yeah, for now, like a, looks like she did a pretty good job. Almost there. Hey, that means that under my right foot, she found your car. Well, there's only one way to know. Let's find out.
I know. She's not that good with magic. But actually, we did a good job because I promised to you guys that under my right foot, I'm gonna have her card. And I'm not kidding, watch. I remove my shoe slowly. Inside my shoe, there's a folded card right here. It's a folded card, right? Can you guys see all of it? Can you guys see it? It's a folded card. And uh, I'm gonna ask you, can I give you your hand like this, like a ball? I'm not gonna touch it because that's very gross. Unfold it yourself and show everybody around here that's your card with your signature. And I think you can keep that one. Sorry for the smell. I love to see celebrities being amazed by our magicians. Here's Kevin Viner with our celebrity guests. So, have you ever been pickpocketed? No. <laughs> that's a really unnerving yeah. question. That's yeah, a really yeah. today. That's an un these are these are kind of cool coins. I don't know if you've seen these before. They're Morgan silver dollars. Oh, wow. So, wow. yeah, they're they're from the late 1800s, early 1900s. Check one of those out for me if you don't mind. And yeah, here, yeah, take take a quick look at those. They they look good, right? Okay. So Michelle, hold your hand, palm up for me. Okay. You can see all four, yes? Yes. Okay, take them all and stick them inside the pocket for me. Okay, so put them all down inside the pocket. This is the way that the pickpocket works. What they'll do is they'll relocate somebody really right. quickly, okay? And just in that motion, did you feel me do that, Michelle? No, reach into your pocket, take those out. Come on. Yeah, take take all take all of them out for me. Oh, they're still there. Yeah, except that there's three. one, two, and three, three right? Dollars. Okay, I got the first one what? away. Wow. Here, we'll do it again, we'll do it again. Okay. Okay, hold out your hand again for me. Okay. This time, I'll just put three of them there, okay? okay. So just three. Okay. Don't even shut your hand, just make it into a cup so they don't go anywhere. Okay. Yep, and, and here, you bring it right up here, and okay. you'll see this one go. That gets what? the next Wait, one for right? Two and two, isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? I'll, I'll do it a little more slowly. A little okay. more slowly so you can follow this. Okay, watch this. I, I, Did you see it that? literally happened in front of my okay. face. Yeah. So two and two, two and two. Right. Did you see that one go across? Right. Yes. Okay, it didn't really, right? It didn't really. Okay, I, I, don't, know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Sean, I haven't done one with you yet. Can you hold your uh, left hand palm sure. up? Sure. Okay, yeah. And you know what, let's, uh, let's bring it right Wait, over, right over it, here. Are you pickpocketing again? Should we take the flash off? <laughs> <laughs> you know what, why don't we do this? Michelle, take your hand and go underneath and hold that tight. Do right. not let go. Okay, right, watch this. Look, if I take all Four. This will be good too because you can keep okay. his hand right where it is, okay? okay? Sean, close your hand around all four of those for me. All the way. Close your hand. Okay, watch this. No moves, right? Look, if you take that one and you take one of them out, slowly open your hand. Take a look. Wow. Right. One of those leaves, I leaving you with one, you. two, two and three. three, and, wait, none. You know what? Sometimes it doesn't go this way, sometimes it goes back Come towards on. you. You've had your hand around his wrist this right. entire time, right? Right. Take your hand away. Come on. Take your hand away, and Sean, slowly turn your hand over and take a look underneath your watch. You've got Jen, to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. That is, that is incredible. <laughs> My hand resisted the whole time. I didn't feel anything. Next on Street Magic. So let's say theoretically, somehow we were able to freeze time. No way. <laughs> They say the hand is quicker than the eye. This next magician definitely proves that to be true. See how quick your own eyes are. Here's Matthew Teague. It's my favorite LA restaurant, and I'm about to go inside to do a little magic. When I was a kid, I saw a movie or an uh, episode of Twilight Zone by Rod Serling, right. and it was about yeah. freezing time. The whole idea was being able to stop time. So like one second to you would be 30 seconds to this guy. Anyways, I always wanted I to... I think I recall. You remember well. that one? Yeah. I'm not sure that you do, right? No. Yeah, yeah. Awesome, awesome. So that's the idea behind this. That's what made me come up with okay. this. We've got a brand new deck of cards. I'm going to mix them up uh, so they're all shuffled. You can see. You take a look at them if you like. You trust it? It's okay? Or do you want to take a look? Uh, it's okay. take a look. Yeah, you can take yeah, a look. Yeah, it's yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Okay. It's all right? Yeah, it, okay. it even has jokers. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's official, right? <laughs> um, take anyone you like, it doesn't matter. Well, actually, sure, Enrique, yeah. Anyone. And then, Enrique, would you put your name across the face of that card for me? Big, bold letters. I'll turn my back so I can't see. Are we all set? Yes. Okay, great. Um, awesome, thank you, I appreciate that. Throw it back anywhere. Oh, you're being nice, I appreciate that, man. So here's the idea. Ever since I was a kid, I've been into that, you know, kind of a plot, uh -huh. uh, the ability to freeze time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the cards and mix them up like this, face up into face down. For the skeptics, I always like to show them the cards really do go face down. Okay. Into face up. The only reason why I'm showing you guys this is so you know later on, if you were to think about it, cards are really being mixed. Um, right. This isn't your yeah. card, is it? Okay, good. No. Okay, good. Sometimes I just stop there. <laughs> uh, would you hold both your hands out like this for me? Now, I can't freeze time, but let's say theoretically, right? Somehow, we were able to freeze time. I'm. Wow. And in a split second, turn over every single card. And not only that, but what was the name of your card? Enrique. Yeah, perfect. Take a look, you won't believe it. No way. <laughs> That's nuts. How'd you do that, man? It's uh, <laughs> amazing. Thank you. Awesome. Thank yeah, you. that was good. Should we do one more? Where is it? There we go. Enrique's card with big bold letters. Oh, so here's the idea. I'll try it one more time. This time we'll make it a little bit more interesting. Can you shuffle cards? Yeah. You can give them a little mix. Just give them a little mix. Just, just a little like that, Just right? a little shuffle, yeah. Okay. Just a little quick one. I'm not as well as you do, but... <laughs> And it doesn't have to be perfect. Perfect, all right. Uh, close enough. Oh, great. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a lot tougher great. than I thought, but we'll try anyway. <laughs> Here we go, watch. You want to see the same trick twice? Let's do it. We'll freeze time one more time. Ready? Yeah. Did you see it that time? No. <laughs> that time it's done. Time. That's why. Uh, you can check it out. Your card actually is completely gone from the pack of cards. It's not there. Here's the wow. weirdest thing, the weirdest thing about that. Yeah, what is that, there. seven or eight? It was a seven, yeah. Can you, can you see there's a playing card way over there? Yeah. No way. Yeah. <laughs> Enrique, come with me, come with yeah, me, come with me. Yeah, but that's not Enrique's card. Come with me, come with me. We'll go. Well, let's go this way, let's go this way, sorry. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> sorry, okay. That's an, I don't know how you did that one, man. That's a, that's incredible. Look at that. Good job. Thank you, man, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is. That's awesome. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm, I'm out of here now. This is wow. freaky. Okay. This is too freaky. <laughs> here, keep that one. <laughs> Great. Beautiful. Awesome. That was awesome. Thank you. thank you. Next on Street Magic. Don't take your eyes off this box. Always hilarious, Ed Alonso. Woo! And now some amazing magic with this simple ink pen. Did you see that? Careful, it's sharp. Now watch what happens when I just wet it just a little bit. It's fake. It's fake. When we think of street magic, we tend to imagine small tricks performed for a few people close up. But it doesn't have to be that. Check this out. Here's Michael Grandinetti. We are on Hollywood Boulevard and it is a perfect night for magic outdoors. How's everyone doing? Yeah. yeah. We are gonna get up close and personal. So right now I wanna borrow something. Does anybody here have a necklace I could borrow? Just a necklace that I could use in our next illusion. You have one? You mind taking it off? I promise you'll get it back. I promise it'll be safe, okay? That is beautiful. Everybody watch this necklace. The necklace goes into my hand, just like this. Watch the necklace. Now do me a favor. Everybody hold your hand out and grab my wrist. Grab my wrist. Make sure that necklace can't go anywhere. Okay. Are you ready on the count of three? One, two, three, it's gone. Where did he go? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 
Thank you very much. You look nervous. Now, I promise you it'll be safe. I'll bring it back, OK? okay. No, that'd be too easy. <laughs> I'm going to bring that necklace back in a more interesting way. Everybody watch this. We have a box made entirely of glass. It is completely empty, and you can see right through it. Don't take your eyes off this box. We're going to get your necklace back for you. Oh, wait, there's more. Everybody, take a look at her neck. Is that yours? You can have that back. Thank you so much. Give her a big hand for being so generous. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys.